Hello, my fellow Spuds, and welcome back to another episode of The Long Dark. So, we are currently on day 23. So, I spent a few days cooking up all the meats. All the meats is cooked. It took a lot of effort, and I nearly got attacked pretty much as soon as I left the camera by another wolf. I ended up having to shoot it a couple of times with a revolver just because I got desperate, uh, and it ran away. Uh, I didn't find the body, so it might still be out there. I don't know. So I'm going to look for that in a bit, but we do actually have for wolf skin and a cured moose hide. So what I'm going to do is straight away make the moose hide satchel. Uh, we need 10 hours for this. Go, just do this thing. Might need to cancel it part way through, depending on how hungry we get. Yes, send it. Excellent. Right, let's eat a couple of these. A thousand calories per. I think that's because, thankfully, by doing that, we managed to get to level three cooking. Actually, we're halfway to level four. That's amazing. We get 15% plus calories from any cooked food. No calorie loss when smashing open cans, which is amazing. And cooking times reduced by 10%, which helped a lot with the moose stuff. So that's really, really good. We also leveled up our carcass harvesting because I finished off the carcass harvesting book that we got. So 25% reduction in meat harvesting times can harvest 50% frozen carcass by hand. Amazing. 10% uh, reduction in hide or gut harvesting. So really, really good stuff. And now we have the moose hide satchel, which gives us ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba, 15 kilo plus. So we can carry up to 45 kilos. Amazing. What we can do is these, all these saplings are basically nearly done. Let's take a couple of the cured. I think we only need one technically. And let us make arrow shafts. Just one. We only need the one lot because we don't have that many arrowheads. We can make them and then we can make some simple arrows. But let's make two to replace the ones we've lost. What is the condition on our other arrows and our bow for that matter? Actually fine. We've got six arrows. And today, like I said we are going to do, we're going to climb Timberwolf Mountain. Hooray! <laughs> so we've got so much extra carry capacity, it's amazing. Sorry, I know it's very dark. Uh, give me a sec to put some stuff away. So I think that's all we can should probably put away. Uh, most of this we can turn into teas, which I'm probably going to do fairly promptly when we are up Timberwolf Mountain. Yeah, we'll probably end up losing some more weight on the way anyway. Cool. Anyway, let's have a quick drink and then let's go to sleep. Right, a new day is dawning. Let us eat some mo moose meat. Tasty moose meat. We've got the fresh cooked wolf meat. I could, but I'm going to save it for a little bit uh, because we still get parasites until level five. Should I take the mountaineer rope? We might as well. We've got the carry capacity for now. Sleep another hour. We can't pass the time for another hour. And then sleep for an hour. There we go. I'll do. So apologies I haven't replied to any of the previous comments in the previous episodes or if I've done anything wrong or something or someone's given me advice. Like I said before, I am recording these in bulk because of Christmas, because I would like to have Christmas off, if that's okay with you guys. <laughs> yeah, in terms of recordings, I want to try and get ahead so I don't have to do much over the Christmas period because I'd like to spend it with my family. It's the first time that we will be posting at our new home. So I'd, I'd like to have a little bit of a break. I say that like I haven't had much of a break over the past six months where I've barely done anything. <laughs> I'm thinking there's probably a way we can descend into that basin, and then there's a way we can ascend on the other side. I think that's probably the quickest way, if there is a way to descend. So I think that's what I'm going to look at doing. If there's no way to descend, We'll have to go down the Ash Canyon route, but turn left instead of right. And I think that leads to the basin. So let's have a quick look. I'm sure it's either here or there that we can do this. Oh. There's also a rope up. Would that get me where I need to go? I don't know. I assumed we needed to go down into the basin. We descend down and go up. And that's the route I took previously when I descended Timberwolf Mountain. I don't know. I'm worried that um, this is a foolish thing to do. Tell you what. Is that possible to descend? I, I bet you it is. If we do it, we'll do it slowly. 
We don't need no rope. We've got crampons. Who needs ropes? <laughs> oh, God. This is very steep. Yeah, and last time there were wolves here when I was in my stream. There is also a cave um, with a memento there, but I couldn't find it. I couldn't find the cache. Um, so I don't know whether there actually is one or whether the memento is the fact there's a laptop there. I'm not quite sure. Whatever the case, though. That was an easy descent. Uh, why are we walking so slow? Oh, we're crouching, of course. <laughs> ah. Right, then. There's Wolfie Boy. Is that two Wolfie Boys? It is two Wolfie Boys. Um. We do have the torch still. Might as well make use of it. Well, we still got it. There is also a container here. I didn't even know that. Come on, run away. Run away. He didn't run away very far. Yeah, it's still just there. Um, cardboard box. Might have to come back here another time. Because I think I would have to kill these wolves if I want to get in that. Which I don't mind doing. But I don't need to right now. Yeah, you run. He just ran when I got the thing out. That's cool. Right, let's quickly before this torch runs out. I'd like to save this if I can, in case there's any more wolves. Um, extinguish. Crampons make this easy. I'm going to have to have a break on the ledge, though. Because I, I ran. Okay. Uh, do we have any charcoal? We don't. That's a shame. Uh, let's have a quick drink of water. That is the last, almost tiny, tiny bit of water left. Uh, eat a bit of that. Tasty. Cool. We're doing fine. We're doing A-OK. -okay. Right, how's that doing? Your stamina's fine. Good. Right, Astrid, keep going. There is another ledge. Is there anything there? No. Well, it looks well defended, though. If we want to uh, yeah, shelter for the night, that looks like a quite good place. Right. Oh, unless I get stuck. Okay. This is where things get complicated, because I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> We might actually have to drink some coffee, realistically, uh, because I don't think we're going to get to the cave I need to get to before it gets dark. I might be able to, but I, I, I doubt it. And seeing as we've also got to potentially uh, contend with bears and stuff, I'm not really liking my chances. What's, I don't even know what that is. Was there a way to do, to ascend using that? I can't remember. I didn't check it out in the stream, so I'm going to check it out now. It's just called Cave. Um, quite a big-ass cave, though. Another torch. Some more food. An improvised knife. So I have the outdoors. Thank you. Okay, it's a cut-through. I'm happy to have a cut-through. Oh. Yeah, there's, there's a rope there if we want to climb up, but we can't. Okay. Well, we're going to have to go around. We have plenty of coffee already on us, um, but I've also got the tins of coffee if we want to make more. So we should be all right in that sense. We've also got a couple of emergency stims, and I think we've even got one of the Go Energies. Yeah, we do. So we'll be all right in terms of... Um, but I do plan to go through the cave system, because mainly because that's the only way I know how to do it. I'm sure there are other ways, but um, 
Yeah, it's the only way I know. <laughs> and I don't really want to try anything uh, new while we're doing so well. I'm going to try and make my right way around here. I'm presuming there is a way to get up to there. That's where we need to get to. So you can see if you did put a, like a load of mountaineer ropes like in that place and also one a little bit further up, like descending Timberwolf Mountain would be a, a piece of cake. Would not be difficult. Um, and even ascending later on would be fairly straightforward. I doubt we're going to be able to climb that. It's too steep. So I think... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's the way back to Ash Canyon. We follow that round. And I think this is the way round. Okay, I think I know where I am now. We do need to watch out for bears. Or a bear. I think I know where I am. I hope I do. I'm not very confident that I do, but... Uh, no, I don't. I don't know where I am. But there is a rope to climb up. So I guess we're climbing that. Hit the crow feathers while we're here. Oh, broken arrow. Perfect. Do we do that without a coffee, or do we just have a coffee now? I think let's have a coffee now. We'll wait till we get to the bottom of it. We'll have a coffee. That'll give us a little perk. Get up that, no problem. And then hopefully I'll know where I am. Oh, we just take one out. Oh, okay. That's, that kind of works. I assumed you just drink from it. You would just choose how much you wanted to drink. Um, but I guess that way works. There we go. Yeah. Our tiredness is falling fast. Stamina's doing all right, though. The only thing that uh, crampons help with is our stamina, not our tiredness. So that was a e fairly easy ascent, really. Cool. Now we just need to figure out where we are. Uh, I might use the charcoal to figure it out. Right. Uh, well, to the cave system. Apparently there's a cave system up ahead. I'm not very good with these mementos, am I? I've got no idea where they are. Um, some of them are really well hidden. I don't know whether all of them, whether they even appear if you don't have the actual key for the loot box. So maybe that's all it is. Maybe because I don't have the box, uh, the, the key, I can't do it. I'm not quite sure. There's a normal cave here. But it says cave system back there. I will take that. Take the charcoal. It's a bedroll. Um, another hatchet. Oh, God. I can't keep taking all this stuff. This must be nearby where the cave to Ash Valley is, surely. It might even be the same one. Like I said, I don't know Timberwolf Mountain very well. Let's go into the cave system, though. <clears throat> we can at least have a sleep. No, this is Ash Canyon. Ah, that's a little bit sneaky. Okay, so it is the right cave. Good. I just couldn't tell because I was coming from a different angle. Excellent. I did make my way here. So, I kind of know the way now up to the summit, which is nice. Let's have that little drink. How are we doing for calories? We're fine. We're fine. Asleep. Okay. So we are going to get a bit thirsty. That's fine. I promise when I get to the next cave system and I find enough wood and stuff, I will start a fire, Astrid. Do not worry. I'm hoping we'll wake up and it'll basically be dawn. Yes. Enough that I can read uh, one hour of this. So that it is fully daytime. Well, near enough. Let's go. Uh, actually, before anything else, let's have one soup. Get a decent amount of water as well. Actually, that's Let's cancel that. I'll keep us alive if need be, but we can just start a fire. Is this it? It must be. It just looks different from when I last did it. Weird. You need to veer off to the right and stick to the left. 
I honestly don't recognize it. And um, I, I did it a few days ago. This is very weird. Um, why don't I recognize it? I suppose different time of day and different conditions. It's all a bit confusing. Right. So, if this is indeed the way we're meant to go, which I believe it is, uh, we need to go up there. The summit. <laughs> Obviously, because that's the point. So, we're going to stick to the left here. Um, and we need to get up to this little ledge up here. And there should be a um, little mini cut through just past this rock here. And there is the proper entrance just past that. But this is like a tiny little cut through. The only thing is that there is a bear that patrols there. So we are going to have to be a little bit careful. Because if the bear is around, we might be in a bit of trouble. And like a wolf. Take that stick. Here's a cut through. Yeah, wolf just hunted a rabbit. It was a wolf I could hear. Uh, it looks like a dead body over there. Might go and check that out briefly before we head into the cave. Oh, there's birdies. Do I have a rock on me? No, shame. I was going to say let's grab one of them, but not. Doesn't matter. So, the bear does patrol around here. So we have to be a little bit careful. Let's go and check what this body is. Hopefully it's not the rabbit that just died. Otherwise there'll be a wolf facing us. It's a deer. It's a deer with a broken arrow. Another one. Excellent. Uh, let's take the crow feathers. Lots of them today. Very nice. That's uh, it's a very local area. I will keep the meat there. I'm not going to touch the carcass. Uh, just because it says deer carcass there. And we can always come back and get it. I know for definite then it is actually there. You can see the wolf down there. That's fine. Everything is a-okay. Right, so... Up here, I think? I think, I think? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So, the bear can be down there. I don't think it goes up here. So, I think when you get past that point, you're pretty safe. We want to climb that. Then, once we get up there, there will be a cave system. We go through the cave system, there'll be another... One more rope? Maybe two? And then we're at the summit. It's pretty straightforward. And we've got the crampons, so it makes this uh, makes life a lot easier. I like how the mobility of your clothes doesn't affect climbing, but it affects running. Like, surely it would affect climbing as well. <laughs> you would think, anyway. Yeah, we only use a quarter of our stamina going up there, so that's amazing. Do another map there. So we've got the green maple, we've also got the fur. Also a cave. Very nice. Let's go into the cave. And, um... Yeah, then we can be all right. We'll, we'll light a fire, Astrid, don't worry. Um, I believe there's a campfire in here anyway, isn't there? Oh, if not, you can at least light something. Even if it's a tiny amount of water you can have, it, it's, it, it, it'll be enough. I'll have to get you by. Come on, let's go in. Right, and thankfully, I have my trusty Spelunker's Lantern. Oh, I love this thing. I think it's fairly linear. I think if you go left, you still end up back here anyway. But there we go. Oh, there's no, there's no campfire, but you do get the wood, so we can start a fire, worst case scenario, so that's fine. Um, anything else in here? No, it doesn't look like it. Cool. So, there's a tiny little crawl space if I run up here. There we go. Right, crawl space. But it's a pretty linear cave system. It, it's pretty easy. It's, it's hard to get lost. It's just the, the uh, crawl system threw me last time because I didn't see it straight away. But if you find that and you're not an idiot like me, then, <laughs> then you're fine. We've got another piece of wood. 
Excellent. So we can start a decent fire. Which I think we're going to have to. Because Astrid is not happy. Well, let's get near the exit first, and then I can put out the lantern and not have to use it again. There we go, that'll do. Because I can actually see where we are now. And that's light a fire. We do have some accelerant. So let's use one of the accelerants. And we need two hours. Oh, three hours worth. Okay, that's that's plenty. Right. Two hours. We have nothing else. To, I forgot to bring the tin. Ah, annoying. Okay, we'll cook that. Eat it. Then we get a tin back, and then I can cook more water. There. <laughs> that worked. Drink it. Drink it all, Astrid. Good. And we can place that down. If I drop that, does it heat it up? No, so it doesn't heat up the coffee. Right. Let's get the coffee out then. And we'll drop the coffee here. Yeah, seven minutes already. Seven minutes already. Let's take that. Does that. Can that go in the thermos? Oh, we can. Right, we'll do a little trick. Do that. That will not burn now. That should be good for another hour. Let's sleep for an hour. There you go, embers. And these are still red hot. So that should give us, uh, well, thirst back. It should give us some warmth. And it should give us fatigue back. Excellent. Right, we're out. Surveying the local area very quickly. Excellent. Julio. Um, we do have the mountaineer's rope. Good. Okay. So, uh, up here is where we can place the mountaineer's rope to get down quicker. It's very nice. And then I believe it's just... Is it the last push to the summit? I think it's just here. It's a fairly straightforward trip. Like, more people should do it. I was scared to do it this whole time, but actually, it's it's fine. Once you do it, it's uh, fairly straightforward. Especially this way, anyway. I don't know, I want to see if there's any other ways. <laughs> that might be why everyone's scared of it. Yeah, I mean, it's just this. I mean, it is a terrifyingly steep climb, but as long as you uh, take coffee and proper precautions, it's fine. They're still there. They are still there. Little burgers. I'm going to get right up close to them. Ah, you fool. You fool. Yes, look at you. Fine. <laughs> Good. Take that stone in case we uh, come across some more. Go in this cave. What do you have in here? Got another mountaineer rope. Or mountain rope. Candy bar. Or granola bar, sorry. We got that. We got that. Uh... The sea door. Do we have space for the other climbing rope? We don't. I don't think we need it. Um, I don't think we need it. Take that. Uh, no point taking the hide. Oh, I shouldn't have touched it. No! I, I don't know if we're alright to touch it or not. I think if we touch it, then it despawns. Anyway, let's deploy the mountaineering rope here. There we go. Have a drink. Then we'll have the coffee. And then we'll climb. Yeah, it's a ver this is a very, very, very steep climb. To the point that I'm not even sure if we're going to be able to make it with our current fatigue level. Um... We should be able to, just. Anything on that ledge? Uh, no. Let's just go up, go to the top. Yeah, we did it easy, easy. Look at that climb. Ramp on to the win. And then, as we get all the way up here, we are uh, tired enough that we are now encumbered. But... We're here. We are at the summit. 
That wasn't too difficult, was it? Let's go over to this cave first, because there should be a body there. And actually, how... We've got loads of stuff on us. That is a very heavy bird. Nearly two kilos for that one bird. Oof, okay. We're going to need to hope that we don't find that much stuff like we did before, because otherwise, um... Yeah, we're going to be a bit stuck, aren't we? I'm going to have to really prioritise stuff. I'm hoping what we're going to have to do is get a massive clothing upgrade, uh, find a few goodies. There's another mountaineering rope. And speaking of goodies, insulated flask, a second one. Very nice. Uh, flashlight. Don't mind if I do. Flare, second flare. Take the charcoal. One charcoal, that's fine. Um, I don't know if we need another mountaineering rope up here, honestly. I mean, we, I can check. If there's an easier way to descend, I'm all for it. I don't think there is, though. Uh, sneak right up on them. That was awful. I didn't even aim. What an idiot. <laughs> They'll be back, I'm sure. We'll get another chance. That's where I heard them again. Are they nearby? Again? They're there. I knew I'd get another chance. Right, it's literally right there. See it? Just through there. I missed. It was so close. Oh, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> anyway. That was your next shot, Astrid. Failed <laughs> miserably. Right. Yeah, there's, a, there's a, literally a nest here, apparently. Well, that's cool. And then... A couple of bodies and the main crash site itself. And I brought way too much stuff with me because I thought that we would be up here for quite a long time. Well, I thought it was going to take a long time to get here and it really wasn't. But I'd rather be safe than sorry. Even so, we do have a hell of a lot of stuff on us. Yeah, we're going to have to sleep in the plane. Hopefully we'll be warm enough. There should be enough stuff to start a fire for a few days, worst case scenario. Let's grab the feathers. That's you. Banged up condensed milk. Lovely. Just what I've always wanted. I think that's the first can I've found this series. Right now, though, the, the important thing is that we get in here. So there's a couple of branches of fur that we can do. And then all these containers, we can break open like the previous ones. And they will all have a bunch of stuff in them. Wilderness Kitchen is very nice to find as well. And let's start breaking these open. Our hacksaw is going to take an absolute beating, but hopefully we'll be alright. Accelerant, wood matches, accelerant, look at all this. All the wood matches and accelerant we will ever need. A bit of a pointless crate, honestly. Might have to put quite a lot of that back. I uh, don't need that. Need some wood too. No. Wool long johns I will take, and another balaclava. I think we've got two already. Don't need. Another one. Take. Don't need. And <laughs> Jesus. What? What? <laughs> um, that wasn't the same one. That's three. Um, that's how many? One, two, three, four, five. We picked up five of them. Too many. I, I can't possibly rip them up. Yeah, the most I would take back with me is uh, one. I can't justify taking any more than that. But this is the sort of thing you can find, and these are like the best in the game. We just found five of them. Some water. Uh, sodas and water. That's nice. So if we have to, we can stay here for a lot longer than we need to. Airline food. So this will be a food one. MREs. Airline food. MREs. Airline food. Airline food. MRE. Three MREs and a load of airline food. So we've got enough food and water now to last probably about a week here. Storm Lantern, we don't need. We've got much better one. Quality tools, I will take. Fire starter, ooh, that. Another quality tools, I can't take all these quality tools. Three Storm Lanterns, uh, four Storm Lanterns, and four quality tools. <laughs> Some more sodas. Okay, we can't run anymore. Who needs to run? We've got, we've got stuff. Let me make sure our hacksaw's not gonna break. It shouldn't do. Oh look, hides. Cured leather, I could fix up my shoes. Cured rabbit, I'm going to take, actually. Cured deer would be nice. Cured leather would be nice. We don't need the wool. I'm going to take everything I think I'll need, 
and I'm probably going to have to um, drop a considerable amount or leave it behind, but it's good to find this stuff. Here we go. Hunting knife. No. Heavy hammer. This is what we needed. Axel? Nope. Hatchet? Nope. Another heavy hammer. Another hatchet. Uh, five. Uh, was that four? Five. Five hatchets. Three knives. Two heavy hammers and a hacksaw. Uh, we are very encumbered. Yeah, we're ten, ten over. So we're going to have to drop quite a lot of stuff. Well, at least if our hacksaw breaks, we've got a spare. Coffee is a massive find. Herbal tea's alright. They don't weigh much. So we might as well take all of them. Really, I'm after clothes. I'm hoping I can find some. Or we find more food. Really high calorie food. <laughs> I love this. Uh, we do only have two containers left, though. And we haven't found any clothes yet. So I'm kind of praying one of these is clothes, especially jackets. And we can, if we can get, like, expedition parkers, that'd be amazing. Okay, wool thing. gloves. Don't need. Yes, that's what I'm after. Uh, don't need. Don't need. We could do with another one of them. Don't need, don't need, don't need, don't need. Two of them. That's what I wanted. Thank you very much. Massive upgrade to our clothes. We've got some of the best in the game now. Uh, decent snow pants. We've already got decent snow pants. Uh, leave combat pants. I need to check what the difference is between combat pants and snow pants, because I believe combat pants are better. Hang on, that's 98%. Can we repair it? So I want to see what it's like when it's, like, full condition. Because if we, even if it's, like, 2 degrees, which it, it literally is 2 degrees, uh, it's not as waterproof, uh, nowhere near as wind, but it's lighter and no mobility issues. Um, the wind resistance is a shame. But honestly, I think I'd prefer this. Having the ability to run again is quite nice. Uh, we'll repair that one. And we can always come back and get them. If you guys have a rant at me and say, I did the wrong thing, I can always come back. There's nothing wrong with that. So, now... But the thing is... We can now replace two Parkers. I mean... The only good thing about this is it's slightly lower sprint issues, um, but that had more mobility issues. And that's already a really high condition, they both are. This one is much better. We can repair it. Boom. Put that away. We can always come back for them another time. Uh, we are down to 60 weight. So we only need to lose 15. Honestly, that's not as bad as I was expecting. I was expecting much, much worse. Because last time on my stream, it was much, much, much worse. I'd lose so much. Oh no, the hacksaw's broken. No! Oh, I should have checked. I knew I should have checked. Um, oh, I'm so sorry. Drop it. Luckily, we've got the spare. Right, that hacksaw's 78%. We'll be fine. Uh, bandage, antibiotics, painkillers, leave the antiseptic, take the emergency stim, lots of bandages, don't need any of that. Cargo container is... Oh, it's ruined. Oh, so it's just now stuck. There's nothing we can do about it. How oh, weird. Ooh, an arrowhead. Nice. Okay. Right. Uh, is there anything here? There's a bag down there. Ooh, one of them. There we go. We get some extra warm. Very nice. I'm going to fix that up in a second. Some more crampons. And water bottle. Right, amazing. Um, can we repair that? We don't have any cloth. Well, I know somewhere where we can get some cloth, funny enough. Nothing in there. Oh, there's another hacksaw. Okay, I'm going to replace the one that we broke then. Right, let's take out a couple of these. Yeah, harvest these. We'll fix up the, some of the clothes we've got. 
And I think we're going to have to settle in for the night. But that is a lot of stuff that we found. Like, a hell of a lot of stuff. I think most of the weight we've got is due to food and drink. So it won't be that much of an issue fixing that. Because I'll just have to leave some behind. Uh, so we don't need three bandages, realistically. Not them. We can light a fire, so that will fix some of our issues. We'll leave a couple of flares up here. We'll leave a hacksaw up here. Uh, the improvised knife, because we don't need an improvised knife. So I think that's just go light a fire. Uh, we'll have a drink, go to sleep. And we can figure out actually how much we need to get rid of. Might as well use one of the nine accelerant we've got. Uh, three hours. That's fine. So that's... Uh, cook up some water, I guess. We might as well while we're here. We should probably cook some more coffee. Um, we'll cook a fair amount of coffee and then we can put it in our thermos. Uh, anything else we can cook? We can cook some more teas. There we go. Okay, and then we should be able to transfer that into that. We can store up to eight cups in there. Amazing. Uh, transfer the soup out. Five cups of coffee in there. I think it's just, yeah, it just keeps it warm. I thought, I wasn't sure if it uh, helped with the carry capacity or not, but it doesn't look like it does. There we go. What we're going to do is we're going to pick that up. We're going to uh, place that to cook it. Uh, cook that one. There we go. And place that bit. Six minutes. Thank you. Eat that. Okay, and how long does it take? It takes a stupid amount of time to harvest these feathers. Let's harvest one of them. I don't know why it takes us for a single feather, it takes half an hour. It's just. <laughs> I'm assuming it's meant to be a clump of feathers, but even still. Uh, eat that. Add some of these sticks. These feathers are good because we can make improvised bedrolls with them. Uh, I think we need 10 feathers. We need to hunt three of these collectively if we want to upgrade our bedroll, which I would do. I think it'd be quite nice. Uh, but that has saved us a little bit of weight, which is just lovely. Let's have another drink. And we need to now lose nine kilos. It's easily doable. We'll just sleep for four hours. Normally, I'd only sleep for like two hours at a time. We still have like an hour and I think about an hour and a bit left on the fire. Uh, okay, we're all right for a bit. Three hours. We seem fine. Okay, yeah, we're all right. So, we need to lose 10 kilos. That is not that much of a problem. Read this book. But I think this should get us to level four cooking. Really hoping so. These? Did it not? Oh, it's so close. That's annoying. But we have gone from basically level two to nearly level four in the space of a single episode, so that's quite nice. So out of the outdoors, we could read another four hours worth of that. Because then if we drop all that, that's one and a half kilos gone. There's another one done. We're still okay, everything else wise. Feels like night is coming. Right, managed three hours, but now we have to sleep again. And there we go, daytime again. Right, time to get through some of this soda. We've got a ton of water, so we can easily lose like three kilos just dropping some water off. So that's not much of a problem, which I'm probably going to do now, actually. All that accelerant, we could easily get rid of some of that. We don't really need it. It's useful for a, a little bit. I don't think we need all this water even still. We've got the cans of stuff, like a ton of cans. I reckon we can drop another litre. So we just need to lose a kilo now. And to do that, we just need to eat. I think it's just food is the thing that we've got a lot of now. I ha still haven't actually got the backpack that's down here, so we're going to go grab that. I'll take it. Oh. Oh, dear. <laughs> Easy does it. I'm actually going to aim this time. I'm not going to be an idiot. More than one. More than usual. Should just... Be up. There. Come on, my little feathered friend. Stop moving. Hello. Goodbye. Good. That's two. I think we go tomorrow. 
I think we should have got through enough of supplies at that point. Hopefully we have another chance to get another one of those birds. We can make the improved bedroll. Then we can go. Uh, before we end this day in game, though, we're going to go up here to the highest point, and I'm hoping we should still be able to map everything. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. And that's where we, uh, that's the Mountaineer's Hut. I don't want to fall down there. So, let's uh, ever so quickly drop down into here. And we're getting warmer. Good. Drop a couple of them. We only need one. Right, okay, let's harvest what we can from this then. Oh, it sounds like there's a blizzard coming. Are we going to be warm enough in here? I'm really hoping so. Let's break that down. And we can cook that bird up. Oh. Okay, there's more accelerant and more wood matches. Amazing. Accelerant, we might as well. We've got loads of this stuff. Boom. Okay. Add fuel. Uh, that one. Cook the bird. Uh, eat it. Tasty, tasty. We could just cook a couple more of these. Let's have a hot one. And then we should be able to pop the other ones in here. Oh, adding one makes them all hot. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, awesome. Pick that up. Let's read this for an hour. And then at least when the fire goes out, we'll be able to see whether we are actually still warm or not. Looks like we are, despite the fact that we're in a blizzard. Very nice. Right, we've done five of the 25. Good. Right, I think after today then, yeah, we're basically ready to descend already. We just need to lose that one weight. We're good. We'll have lost that by tomorrow. Right, drank all that. We are marginally overweight. Uh, oh, we've already got these. Oh, we're fine. We don't need these either. Keep two of them. Uh, that's fine. So, how cold is it? So minus one is, is negligible. We could have done with fixing that up, which I'm going to do now. Because that might fix us up and then we're going to be positive. There we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're fine. What do we feel like? 26. I was happy with 20. We're on 26 now. Amazing. The only thing is if we can get one more of these birds. I can hear them. <laughs> They'll just be up here, won't they? I don't know why I'm whispering to you guys. Um... Oh, hang on one sec. Sorry. Very, very important uh, phone call during that. Very tense moment where I'm trying to hunt a bird. Where is it? I can't hear them anymore. there. No! No, you dick! <laughs> Way over the top. I don't want to do it, though. That should have hit it. That was on its way to hit it. Oh, I'm very annoyed. Or whatever. Let's, um... Let's just descend. Ah! <laughs> okay, let's go. Uh, it's probably going to be quite a long day, so I should probably have a coffee. Where is our coffee? Drink coffee, please. Thank you. There we go. Well, that was the first step. Now, this is the... Last and only next step, really. Oh, I should have taken the, I couldn't have taken the mountaineering rope even if I wanted to, but we could have uh, then descended. Oh, there's a bear over there. Ooh. The one that I said before, where uh, we could have put a rope there. Doesn't matter. Right, we did it. That was easy enough. Now we just need to watch out for a bear, and we're good. Uh, so we need to stick 
really, we need to get to the front. We're now at the back of the summit. We need to get to the front of the summit, which kind of involves doing what we did before, but not. Um, I'm only going to hug it the, uh, the hill for a little bit. I'm worried about that bear, though. No, we don't stink. No, we're fine. Where is it going, though? Is it stupid to try and hunt a bear? Yes, we don't have the carry capacity at all for it. There's a wolf. Oh, let's start putting a rock in a hard place. The bear there who's not moving, and there's a wolf over there that is moving. We're kind of where we started, though, basically. Uh, the the cave to get back up. Timberwolf Mountains there. Um, where did it go? Where's that? We're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. So, this is where we climbed up first time. So, technically, we could just go back the way we came. But I want to try... Descending this way, aiming for there, because over there was the, whatever it's called, the basin that we went into first. Ow. Let's get down first. We'll fix ourselves up once we're down. There. All right, fix ourselves up. Annoyingly, now I only have one bandage. Um, luckily, tons of painkillers. Can we make another bandage? Yeah, we can. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, God. Can we crouch? I think it's chasing the rabbit. Should be distracted enough if we can get round it. Yeah, that'll be distracted for a little bit. Um, okay, so I reckon if we aim for this way. Oh, there's a thing here. Let's open it. See what we can find. Maybe something good. <laughs> Not that we've got enough. Um, yeah. Sure. A ton of wet stones and a fire and cleaning kit. I'm going to leave the simple tools. Um, that was worth it. Uh, there was another thing. Just in case. Just in case. I don't think we need to climb anything else now. Cured leather. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Um, how encumbered are we now? Oh, by barely any, though. Oh, shouldn't have eaten that in case we get food poisoning. I'm such an idiot. We're fine. Okay, let's leave the wolf alone. He's finished off the rabbit. I don't really want to mess with him right now. Um, so this was where we started, wasn't it? Yeah. So I guess we want to veer off to the right. I don't really want to go back through Ash Canyon to get back to the base. Like I will do if I have to, but I really don't want to. Tell you what, let's have another coffee. Let's take two out. And let's just consume one. Because I think it's going to be a long trek home. And we could sleep in the cave system, but I'd rather honestly just make my way back. And here's the mountain's rope to get down. Which we probably don't need to do, but I'm going to do it anyway. Too encumbered to climb. No! <laughs> okay. Guess not then. Oh, yeah, that's fine. That's easy. Yeah, who needs a rope? There we go. 
Beautiful. We're down. I hear those birds in my sleep. They're there. I don't have a, a stone. You're torturing me, you annoying birds. Just want two feathers. Why you gotta do this? Ah, press onwards. We've got time to find more. You never know, we might find one in Pleasant Valley. I wonder if all the wolf hides have cured yet. They must be fairly close. All the saplings should have definitely cured by now. Uh, the wind is picking up. Um, I don't like this. Okay, there's a dead deer. Not gonna click on it. <clears throat> uh, let's get here. Use the charcoal quickly before it gets any worse weather-wise. Right, into Echo's Ravine. Here we go. There. So there, there is a way down if we continue on. And then we should be hopefully defended from the uh, blizzard if it does happen. I'm hoping. Oh, God. Okay. Um, or there's a bridge we can cross. I mean, either way. Right, and is... Oh, Jesus. And that's the way to Ash Canyon. Oh, brilliant. So I know where we are now. Good. I can take another stone. So if I can uh, get another shot at one of those things. Um, there are loads of deer around here. Like dead deer. A little bit concerned about the weather, though. And the fact that we are having to walk into it to get back to the mountaineering hut. So this is where we looked into the first of those crates before. Uh, where we used the hacksaw on them. We're just here. So we're not that far away. The problem is we're going to have to go into the wind to get back. So it's going to be a little bit painful. I do know, however, of one place where those birds can technically spawn. Really? Why did... I don't stink. Why did you run at me? Dick. I'm gonna run this way. He's actually coming after me. I think it might actually be coming after me. Um... It is. But just go away. I don't like you. And you don't like me. Jog on. Up here. There should be some of those birdies up here. If I'm not mistaken. I think there's some just over here. Yeah, there are. Hang on. I don't know if this scares them, so I'm going to do that. Oh, it was worth a go. It did scare them. I'm having fun with the revolver today. Just uh, give, give me that. <laughs> right. Let's just get back to the base. Um, and I think probably call it a day there. We climbed Timberwolf Mountain. We got significant upgrades pretty much in every sense uh we've got the heavy hammer we've got a ton of food uh we, we can live for a long time now without any real issue and the fact that we've got an extra like we're basically in a pre-blizzard and we're warming up is nuts so i'm pretty pleased i think we've come a long way i'm pretty sure we can craft the rabbit skin stuff now we might be able to craft the wolf skin coats and i think maybe the deer legs as well we're pretty good i think we can craft all three pretty damn happy just need to make sure that we're not going to be attacked by wolves like we have been in the past and we'll be a-okay there's one right there speak of the devil i can't run because we're too tired go away Okay. 
Let's harvest these cattails while we're here, quickly. I don't know whether the flare was giving off heat. I think it, they do a little bit. Can't remember. I know the torch does. I didn't think the flare did, but unless the wind has just suddenly dropped. Okay, we'll just grab the rest of these cattails and then we'll uh, go back in. There's still two wolves there. Killed so many wolves and injured so many wolves where they should die and yet there's still two there. If I get attacked around the corner again, I'm going to go nuts. Always appears there. Yeah, see, it doesn't seem to have come back, so thank goodness. Right. Back in the safety of Mountaineer's Hut. Eat this moose. Tasty, tasty moose. That's my song for today. I think I've gone a bit insane. Right. Uh, all this cured stuff, lovely. What have we got in here? So many flares. <clears throat> How many flares do we have? Uh, actually, not as many as I was expecting to have. We did leave quite a few behind. So, we've got quite a lot of them. We've got uh, cured wolf pelt. Cured wolf pelt, cured wolf pelt, cured wolf pelt. Hey, brilliant. Um, so that means we can actually make the wolf skin coat. It requires 25 hours. You're having a laugh. That's ridiculous. We can craft the deer skin boots. Five hours. Ten, uh, ten hours? Why? Let's see how much we get out if we just do, <laughs> just do the full 25. And how much do we get done? I'm getting ready to cancel it. Yeah, cancel. Okay. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I, I know that was that was silly, but to be fair, we can replenish our health pretty quickly. Let's go to sleep. And then we can um <laughs> we can just do that again. Finish the coat off, no problem. Uh, eat the wolf. Yeah, we're full health now. Eat the moose meat. There we go. We should be able to have a drink or two. Orange soda. This is fine. It's eat nothing to worry about. And now we can uh, finish working on this. I just light this and place it. I don't know how long it's going to last. But to be fair, it's a spare. There we go, right now. 47 minutes, not bad. Sleep for two. Ooh, we're actually feeling cold. I think that's the first time we've started feeling cold. Can we just pass the time for an hour? And then work on the wolfskin coat for 47 minutes. Brilliant. And now we've got a wolfskin coat. Which is amazing, except for the fact it weighs double and is only marginally better than the Expedition Parker. But we've still made it. We've got it, and that's the important thing. So I'm going to leave it there. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like Wilson, please leave a like and subscribe. A massive thank you to all my Patreons and YouTube members. Drew, Clint, David, Len, Valise, Lobby Lord, T Chaos, Toolman, Natural Cheese, Mikey Soundtrack, King of Thorns, Skylar Burchall, Charles, Mint Salad, Lax, Brian, and Heretic. Thank you guys, you're amazing. Thank you for helping keep the channel afloat. You guys are just awesome. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next episode. Cheers. Bye-bye.